Hi, my name is Jillian Marvin. I'll be talking about the painting The Magpie by Claude Monet. So this is how the painting looks here. And so ever since this painting was finished, it stays in the museum, Musée d'Orsay, located in Paris, France. The Magpie was created during 1868 to 1869 near Etra Etrat in Normandy, Mandy. Um, so basically he rented out this house in this location with his family during 1868 in October and he like finished a lot of his paintings during that time but this was one of the um, paintings that he did while he was there. Um, this is an oil painting and then it was created during the 19th century and this painting really stuck out to me because it has um, snow in it and I've never like I've experienced snow a few times but it just really fascinates me because I don't see snow a lot so I like to study um different things that have snow in it so that's why I picked this painting so more about the artist so Claude Monet is French and um what's really important about him that he changed with art history is he started the impressionism movement um, so all his paintings had the techniques and characteristics of Impressionist painting, and so um, his type of painting gave the movement its name and defined the movement, what type of painting it was, and um, this type of painting started in the early 1870s. So more about the actual painting. So um, what's really unique about this painting is that instead of just being like fields of snow like in the background like just keep going into fields of snow back here is actually like an ocean and then he also creates um like a low winter sun in this corner over here and then but the main thing the even like the title of it is the magpie so the magpie is this bird right here which explains the focal point of his painting and um the bird just is really important for the painting because everything is white and mostly white and the bird is like the main like you know that everything is quiet because it's snowy and it's calm outside except for this bird um that's been moving and chirping and it just captures the moment that he was in like you can even see the shadows of the bird here like um the you can tell that the bird was moving because these shadows are different so, um, that's everything that I have to say about the magpie, um, so thank you.